Hello everyone, this is me Dr. Vaud Kesi and welcome back to our MCQ sessions from ENT, Topic Anatomy of Ear. Let's discuss again. The inner ear is present in which bone? Option A, parietal bone. Option B, petrous part of temporal bone. Option C, occipital bone. Option D, petrous part of sphenoid bone. The correct answer is petrous part of temporal bone. Okay. This is a skull showing the transverse section. The inner ear or the labyrinth is situated in the petrous part of the temporal bone, which is medial to the middle ear. And this inner ear structure consists of the bony labyrinth and the membranous labyrinth. Next question the inner ear body labyrinth. The inner ear bony labyrinth is option A strongest bone in the body, option B cartilaginous bone, option C long bone, option D membranous bone. And the correct answer is cartilaginous bone. Okay. The bony labyrinth is a series of bone chambers lined by endosteum, which contains a clear fluid called perilymph, and it consists of cochlea, vestibule, and semicircular canal. You know, it can be remembered by CBS cochlea vestibule and semicircular canal talking about cartilage and spawns that ossify to form a cartilage so it is a endochondral bone formation and example is bony labyrinth it is also called otic capsule and in, in contrast to cartilage in a spawn we have a membrane spawn which is also called the dermal bones because it doesn't form the cartilage but cat calcifies okay the dermal bone is formed within the outer portion of the bone and is deposited by the osteoblast okay so the examples of membranous or dermal bones are clavicle and patella this clavicle and patella okay, it doesn't form cartilage it calcifies on the outer portion of the bone which is deposited by the osteoblast and talking about inner ear bony labyrinth which is present in the petrous part of the temporal bone it is known as petrous because petrous is a means rock like as it is one of the densest bone of the body but not the strongest as we know the strongest bone is called the femur next question which of the following is a pneumatic bone okay option a ethmoid option b sphenoid option c maxillary and option d mastoid the correct answer is mastoid we know pneumatic bones are those bones which contain an air filled cavity within them because <clears throat> and because of that uh, makes them light in weight in human they are seen in relation to the nasal cavity and enclose the paranasal sinus besides making the skull light in weight they also help in the resonance of the sound and act as a air conditioning chamber for the inspired air okay so the pneumatic bones in human are maxilla frontal bone sphenoid and ethmoid okay and talking about mastoid it is a spongy bone it is a spongy bone which encloses numerous Air cell spaces giving it a honeycomb appearance. So, mastoid bone is not a pneumatic bone, it is a spongy bone, right? A spongy bone which contains large number of air space, air cell spaces that gives it a honeycomb appearance. Now, next question the crust commune is the part of option A cochlea, option B middle ear, option C semicircular canal, option D vestibule. So, the correct answer is semicircular canal. Looking at this picture, we can see there is a superior or anterior semicircular canal, and there is a posterior semicircular canal, and there is a lateral or horizontal semicircular canal. What happens is that this anterior and this posterior semicircular canals fuse to form a common cross known as the cross commune which opens into the utricle okay so because of this the three semicircular canals opens into the utricle by the five opening instead of six okay next question endolymphatic duct connects which structure option a scala media to subdural space option b scala vestibule to aqueduct of cochlea option c scala tympani to subdural space option d Articulo -sacular, sacular duct to endolymphatic sac present in the extradural space. The correct answer is articulo sacular duct into the endolymphatic sac present in the extradural space. So it is the bony labyrinth, cochlear, vestibule, and semicircular canal. 
there are three semicircle canal the superior or anterior this posterior or, and this is a lateral okay this is a utricle this is sacule this is cochlea cochlear duct and now here comes the utricular sacular duct that connects utricle to sacule okay and there is a endolymphatic duct that connects utricular sacular duct to the endolymphatic sac okay which is present in the extradural space and here is a ductus reunions that connects the cochlear duct to the sacule okay next question not included in the bony labyrinth option a cochlea option b semicircular canal option c organocorti option d vestibule so the correct answer is organocorti it is not included in the bony labyrinth because bony labyrinth is cbs cochlea vestibule semicircular canal organocorti is present in the membranous labyrinth okay membranous labyrinth next question bony cochlea is a coiled tube making how many turns around a bony pyramid option a 2 and a 1 by 4 modulus option b 2 and a 1 by half 1 by 2 helicotrima option c 2 and a 3 by 4 modulus option d 2 and a 3 by 4 helicotrima the correct answer is 2 and a 3 by 4 modulus so cochlear duct or membranous cochlea is a blind coiled tube which turns which takes 2 and a 1 by 2 to 2 and a 3 by 4 turns there on a bony axis called modulus it it appears a triangular on cross section okay triangular on cross section the basilar membrane which supports the organ of cortai the rationers membrane which separates it from the scala vestibuli and there is a stria vascularis which contains the vascular endothelium that secretes the endolymph okay. the cochlear duct is connected to the sacule by the ductus reunions next question the organ of cortai is situated in option a scala media option b scala tympani option c scala vestibuli option d sacule so the correct answer is scala media okay this is the detailed structure of organ of cortai okay it is bounded by basilar membrane the base which supports it by the resonance membrane that separates it from the vestibuli there is a strabascularis that secretes the endolymph there is a tectorial membrane okay? inside which there are outer hair cells there are inner hair cells next question the fetus starts hearing by what intrauterine life option a 14 weeks option b 20 weeks option c 32 weeks option d 38 weeks and the correct answer is option b 20 weeks next question the sense organ for hearing is option a organ of cortai option b crestae option c macula option d non so the correct answer is organ of cortai